How to remotely turn on your Dell laptop or desktop. Computers are a staple of modern life, with more and more people getting them to do their work and even their personal projects. However, they can be tough to manage, especially when they're not on your desk, or when you're away from your desk, you can't access your work. That's where Wake on LAN comes in. In this video, I will teach you how to make your computer wake up on your network. Wake on LAN is perfect for business travelers, students, or anyone who wants to be able to work on a computer from anywhere in the world. Video Topics Covered 1. What is Wake on LAN? 2. How to set up Wake on LAN for a Dell desktop or laptop 3. How to turn on your Dell PC when you are on site 4. How to turn on your Dell PC when you are not remote 5. If you have trouble, One, what is Wake on LAN? Wake on LAN is an important feature in a computer. This feature allows you to turn your computer on remotely or wake it up from a sleep state. It is an essential feature for any computer user, especially if you work in an office where you may need to turn your computer on or off. There are different ways to perform a wake on LAN and it also comes down to if you are on your network or you are at a remote location outside of your LAN. 2. How to set up wake on LAN for a Dell desktop or laptop These included steps are just a guide, and we cannot be held responsible for any damage you may do to your PC. If you are not comfortable, ask for IT help from someone that has the proper skill set. First thing to note is that the Dell device will need to have an Ethernet cable. There are some versions of wireless wake on LAN available, but you will have to research if your laptop supports that. We have found that it makes more sense to have Ethernet plugged into your Dell desktop or laptop since your device already needs power plugged in so it makes sense to use it with Ethernet plugged in. 2. The next item is to ensure that your BIOS is configured properly. Restart your Dell computer and press F2 multiple times as it is turning back on. If you see the Windows logo, then you did not catch it in time. Shut it down and turn it back on while pressing F2 multiple times. When you are in the BIOS, go to Power Management and then to Wake on LAN slash VLAN. In here select the option to turn on Wake on LAN. After that, if you do see a deep sleep control section in the BIOS, go to it and disable it. Not all systems have this. Then, click on Apply and then exit from the BIOS. Windows will now load. 3. Now while in Windows, you have to configure your network card settings so that it works with Wake on LAN. This is how to do so, you must be an administrator of the PC, go to Device Manager. In Windows 10, you can right-click the Windows button and choose Device Manager Go to Network Adapters and expand it Right-click your network card and choose Properties Open the tab Power Management If you see it check this option if you see it Allow this device to wake the computer Only allow a magic packet to wake the computer Next go to the Advanced tab and choose Energy Efficient Ethernet If you see it change this to Disabled Click OK and close the Device Manager If you didn't see the Power Management tab, you may have to dig for a similar setting in the Advanced tab related to allowing the network card to wake the computer. Now we need to disable Fast Startup, go to Control Panel and then to Hardware and Sound, Power Options and System Settings. Then click on Change Settings that are currently unavailable. At the bottom, uncheck Turn on Fast Startup. Click Save Changes. Three, how to turn on your Dell PC when you are on-site or on the same network as your device. While on the same network, it's a bit easier to issue the wake on LAN. The technical wording is sending a magic packet to the MAC address of the computer's network card. This essentially means that an app on your other PC, 
cell phone, or tablet on the network can send a special message to your network card to tell the PC to turn on. If you are on a different PC that is on, you can turn on the PC in question using a free app called Wake Me On LAN from nersoft.http colon slash slash www.nersoft.net slash util slash wake underscore on underscore lan.html You will need to run the tool first when the other computer is on. You can then save a list of devices that it finds on the network. After that, if the other computer is off, you can select it to turn it back on. If you are on an Apple device, you can get this app from the Apple App Store, Willow, Wake on Land by Jack Baker HTTPS colon slash slash apps.apple.com slash a slash app slash Willow Wake on Land slash at 15009706 a guide is in the app. If you are using an Android device, you can get this app from the Google Play Store. Wool on https colon slash slash play dot google dot com slash store slash apps slash details it equals com dot biglog dot wollen and hl equals n underscore us and gl equals us four how to turn on your dell pc when you are not on site meaning you are not on the same network as the remote pc you would like to turn on Some more complicated ways mentioned on YouTube are to connect to your router somehow and use it to send the magic packet. Some routers do support this. VPN into the remote location. Do port forwarding through your router. We are not in love with those methods. They may be fine but we don't prefer them for the security risks they bring. We would recommend looking into or investing in some form of remote control tool. The downside is that it usually requires that you have at least one PC on and running at the same location of the PC you need to turn on. That PC can then automatically be ready to turn on any PC on the network. This is a no-brainer for businesses with many pieces and or servers that are always on or if you have multiple pieces at home. Some tools that can do this are, ConnectWise Control, formerly Screen Connect Team Viewer Parallels Access. The way it works is that you install those tools on all your pieces at one location. Those tools keep track of all of the machine MAC addresses. Then if one PC is off, you can just right click the machine and turn it on from your remote console. As long as one PC is on on that LAN, that device will send the magic packet and turn on the PC. It's pretty nice. This is how TeamViewer explains it. Five, if you have trouble. Go to the Dell Support website, download the latest network card drivers. Also on the Dell Support website, install the latest BIOS update for your machine. Triple check the BIOS settings and the network settings already mentioned. Reboot the machine once or twice to ensure that all settings are saved. Leave a comment below if you have issues or succeeded. As always, subscribe so that you can be the first to learn about more tech-related tips. Cheers!